What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to South Mountain Creamery Farm. Now today we've got a little bit of work to do. Not a whole lot, to be completely honest, but we do have some stuff that needs to be taken care of. First and foremost, that means mowing and collecting some grass. Now with the grass, we don't need a whole lot so probably what I'm going to do is collect the grass, bring it back, and put it in the silo. And we might do maybe 100,000 in there. But the rest of it, oh yeah, the rest of it is going to be silaged. We're going to chaff it and silage it. That is the game plan there. And with that silage, some of it will keep, some of it will sell. Just depends on how much money we need. Now, as far as money goes for us right now, I think we're doing probably okay. Yeah, <clears throat> probably okay. We got $410,000. I think we're all right right now. Yeah. <laughs> is this flowering? This is flowering. So we are good. Currently, this is our only grass field. I've thought about... Oh gosh, don't hire worker. What are you doing? I've thought about getting another grass field in the future, but I'm not sure how I would go about doing that uh, as far as money goes. Because right now we do not have enough money to get the other grass field that I want. So we would have to really go through and do some stiff. So, ooh, I missed a little bit here. Dang. Let's go back through and get it. There we go. So, we got this mowing to do. What we're going to do is we are going to hit uh, two to three headlands, possibly three. I think three's been working, or three worked well for us in spring. Or not spring, gosh, summer. We're already in early autumn. I can't believe it. It's. I feel like we just started this map and we are already in autumn. This is our first year on this map. So those of you guys that are just joining us, new subscribers, everyone, Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you guys were able to join us. All right. So with that being said, let's get to work. And just like that, we have our very first load of grass. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. So we're going to be getting a whole lot more than that. As you saw, the place is just littered with grass. I mean, there's stuff everywhere. I did speed up the time a little bit just to get us a little bit more daylight. It seemed like 6, uh, what, 6.30, whatever it was, in the morning whenever we started recording. It was just a little too dark for my liking. Uh, soon, our mower right here is going to need a little bit of guidance because currently, they're almost down to the corner down there. And that corner causes a lot of problems. So, but very first thing we need to do, we've got to get this headland done. We've got to get both of these headlands done because if we don't, then if we set that wind rower up, it is going to take all of our hard work that we've done on the outside and it is going to completely screw it all up. So we have to get these outside headlands done. But once that's done, we're good. It actually worked out perfect because I did three headlands with the mowers. 
I was able to pick up five rows at a time. So we ended up going through the first time hitting five rows. And then the second time that I went around with the wind rower, we only had to pick up four rows since we had, you know, three, three, nine, you know, it's a whole lot of math, but this is going to be good. Like I said, I was thinking about doing only a hundred thousand liters of grass in the silo at one time. And then going from there, I might do more. I think I may do the first two loads full of grass just to kind of pad it a little bit, if you will. So that's probably what we're going to do. We do have 500,000 liters of straw in there, which is an ungodly, I mean, it is just a ridiculous amount of straw. I don't think we need that much. What I will do is go in and see uh, after this next kind of run and, and everything that we get done with the silage, I may go through and I say like, okay, we have this much silage, which means we could get through, you know, this, 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 and this with only this much food. Because keep in mind, once the next season comes around, we're going to have, I mean, we got to have enough food for cows. We do. So I think what I'm going to do to start with, we'll probably buy 50 cows. It's going to be a whole lot of money. So we're going to have to take the money that we get from all of our crops and stuff like that in order to buy those cows and they're not going to be cheap let's take a look here let's see what's the cheapest cows go for or when so it looks like the second of oh today's actually a really good day to buy cows and the price isn't that bad uh, I don't know. We'll have to go take a look. We'll have to see what cows are going for right now. I could buy cows, but we're not going to be able to give them full food. We would only... Oh, there's 70,000 right there. There are two grass, grass things. So, everything from here on out will go towards silage. We're going to get a whole lot of silage. Heck yeah. So, let's go ahead and get this field wrapped up. Not sure how much of it we're going to get done. Oh, and there our mower goes. Let's find him. Here he is. Hey, buddy. Let's go ahead and get these down. Flip it around. And get you back on track. Something tells me he's going to do this every time now. So I'll have to turn him around. It's almost done. And honestly, I could probably do all this myself. But hey, where's the fun in that, right? <laughs> so DJ, this is a game. That isn't fun. Shut up. All right. Let's get this grass taken out. Let's put it away. Silage from here on out. Here comes the first level of chaff. Oh, yeah. So we got 140,000 liters of grass in the silo. That's going to be plenty. I mean, plenty. Barely use any grass anyway. I'm, I think I use uh, like... 20, so like nine or 10,000 liters per day with 200 cows on Lone Oak right now. So yeah, I think we'll be fine with grass. So let's make some silage. We weren't able to get corn this year, which is very, very disappointing. Uh, I was really hoping that we would be able to get some corn, but just it just did not work out for us to be able to get corn. So instead we're doing some grass chaff oh yeah see how high we can get this to go in back oh yeah dumping it out oh yeah there it is first load is in the books Seventy thousand liters of chaff in there i've got a pretty good idea we're gonna have well over five hundred thousand liters in there i can't say for sure but if that's the case, and if we can get, if we, if at least we can just get that in there, then I can go and I can feed these cows hay for the, you know, at least for the next 24 hours until we get everything. If that is the case, then we can get cows today. 
Now, I need a water trans so that I can get some water. I need to figure out where we get water on this map. But if I can figure that out, if we can get all that done, all of that, then I say we go get some cows. All right, we've got about one to two. Oh, nope, that was it. Bam. Is there a little bit over here. Did I get it? There it is, right there. It's kind of hard because this grass, it, well, that's what I'd say. It's weird, this grass is the same color as the grass. That's a, uh, that's a pretty true statement there, isn't it? We've got everything up. Let's take a look in here. And not growing at all. Perfect. That means we got every little bit of it. Awesome. Fertilized. Eh, we got some outside edges that we could hit. Nothing too crazy. All right. So, time to put this in. The bunkers, it's not, it's not half full. But it is pretty close. Maybe two fists, third, somewhere around there. I'm going to say 480,000. It's just my guess. I'm going to let you guys take a guess as soon as you see it. And that guess to me, I'm just throwing out random numbers. I have no idea. This is the bunker right here. <clears throat> what can we do to dump? Now, as soon as I dump this, that is when I'm going to show what the number is. I have no idea. But it ought to be pretty interesting. And some people ask me, DJ, how do you get your bunker looking like that without using a tractor? Well, I start at the bottom and then back it up to the top until it stops. Just like that. Uh -oh. <laughs> and then I back it down, pull it over again, start dumping. And back it up. We do have a couple little spots here and there up top. There we go. Now we got those filled in. And we're going to do it again. Right here. Start it and back it up to the top. Now this does take a little bit longer. Yes, I will admit that. However, doing it the other way, where you come in with the shovel thing and everything, which I am going to do, by the way. But we don't have to do it this way, if that makes sense. It's all nice and orderly. And then right there at the end, I'll just kind of go up and down and up and down and up and down. There we go. Perfect. I've got it exactly how I want it. Now, let's get our Steyr. And let's hit it. Now, should we replace the wheels on here eh I think it's probably okay we have a shield around here somewhere there it is back it up to it ooh 26 on the gas we need gas big time ooh that's nasty that is nasty we gotta get that figured out alright time to make this look nice. I am in no way, shape, or form a pro. I am no uh, smoke. I am no golf cart jockey. I am none of that. However, I've seen them do it. <laughs> so, therefore, that is how I figure out my stuff. I just, I'm like, okay, I saw them do this. That must be how you do it. Oh, yeah. How much is in here? 552,000, so not far off from my guess of 480. What did you guys think? What was your kind of guess, guesstimate, if you will? All right, compacting 3%. This is what's gonna take a minute. So what I'm gonna do is make a little phone call. Let's go and fold this up. I'll make a little phone call to our buddies over at the Goham Co. That's right. Some of you were curious. This is where the Goham Co moved to. And they've got some stuff available for us to rent right now. They just got set up. So let's give them a call. See what we can get. Today they have offered us a Challenger MT-755E. Does that say 55? 
does say 755e. One of my favorite compacting tractors. Now, here's the way Hammy does this. Comes up to the top, makes it nice and orderly, and starts to go in a circle. It's a little cheaty, but it does work. Let's take a look here, help window on. See, we're already at 5%. One thing I am going to do, I am going to try and smooth this out a little bit. Just to kind of get it looking nice and make it so it's much easier later on down the road whenever we start to unload it. So, it looks good there. That looks good. Eh, it's not the greatest in the world, but I'm happy with it. So, let's begin the circles We'll see you guys at 100%. And just like that, we are done. But it's not just like that, because about 11 hours has gone past since the last clip. Because I accidentally sold this 700 in the bunker. I mean, I accidentally called Gohamco to give it back in the bunker. So yeah, we got that out of the bunker. <laughs> uh, we've got an extra, a little bit extra chaff in here now. Uh, 560,904 liters. We got it covered up, all ready to go. Good is good. I do believe I'm going to keep most all of it. So we've got this. Let's go ahead and call the Goham Co. Let's get this returned. And... Let's go around, double check everything, make sure everything is good. I have made the decision to purchase cows. We're gonna purchase cows tomorrow in game. As soon as the silage is done and ready, we will be ready ourselves. So there's a few things that we need to do to prepare for this. First things first, animals. We need water, we need an Aquatrans. Bye, yes. We need a food mixer. Buy. Yes. It's a little expensive. I don't really want to spend that, but it is what it is. Maybe one day we'll be down here to the Joskin and the Picon. We also need a skid steer. I have put back into the game the Bobcat. So let's go with something cool. Let's see. Crawler tracks, crawler tracks, orange tracks. Do we have orange tracks? I have to go back and double check that. But I feel like the crawler tracks drive just like uh, tracks, crawler track orange, crawler tracks. You know, let's let's go crawler tracks orange because orange is cool. So we got that without beacon, clean windows. Yeah, that's all good. That looks good to me. 40 grand. Let's get it. Bam. And I think that is really all we need for cows let's go ahead and let's get everything oh and we need a bucket should we go with the bobcat bucket which is 2000 or let's see how much is that that's also 2000 i believe i'll use something different that worked very well yes the manure fork 3000 it works just as good so let's get that as well. Skid steer, yes please, bye. Oh yeah. And there we are, 317,000 now. That is $93,000 worth of stuff. Let's get everything sent down here. And there it is, right there. Oh yeah. How you like that little uh, little magic trick? I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> so here's everything. Yes, this is what we wanted right here. People have been asking for this and they wanted to see it. And I gotta tell you, I really don't like the way it drives and people saying, oh, I don't have problems with it. I don't have problems with it. I know you don't, I do. I have problems with it. It's because my left thumb's too fast. <laughs> and it pulls it too hard. That's the only reason, that's why. It has nothing to do with that. Now, we could have gotten a smaller tractor. I thought about going with the Steyr, but alas, got this guy yes we do so we need to put it away 
Now a lot of a uh, lot of thought has gone into this, as you can tell. I'm sitting there like, oh, over here, over there. I don't even know. I think I'm gonna put stuff down here. I'm just gonna back it all in. I'm not sure if this is where it goes, but this is where I'm gonna put it. So all of our stuff that has anything to do with cows or anything like that, it's all gonna go down here. So we're gonna keep this right there. And we wanna bump over, yeah, this'll do. We can keep the front bucket on there. It's not gonna cause any problems. Get everything put away. Now the food mixer is gonna go first. After the food mixer, we gotta go find water. I wanna go ahead and fill this thing up. I've been told that the water on this map is free. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm certainly keen on finding out. I would love to know if the water's free or not, because if the water's free, we may call the Goham Co and say, oh yeah, turn the lights on. We, we may call the Goham Co and say like, hey, I heard there's water and I heard it's free. Can we get a tanker? <laughs> we get a tanker and and put some uh, put some placeables down here. There is one placeable that we're gonna have to put down here, and that is the silage placeable. So we will need that. There we go. But for now, we need to find water. Let's grab the Aquatrans, and I think I've got an idea of where we're gonna go. So. If you look down at the bottom right hand corner, you see this big lake. And there's a road that goes down there in between, it was about the very bottom in the middle. Well, what I'm thinking is, we could just go right there, right off the path. And we should be able to get stuff there. I don't know if we can or not, but we're certainly gonna find out. All right. This ought to be interesting. This is either going to fail or succeed. However, it will not be either. So, how are we going to get down in there? That's the big question. Um, you know, I'm just going to like kind of put it down in there. <laughs> See if we can back it in right here. Ooh, let's get rid of the map. No point in having that. This is a good spot, seems. It's in and it's filling up. All right. And the money's not going down. Water is free and it is a good day. Oh yeah. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. Join the many, many people. I believe we had 30 or 40 new subscribers yesterday alone. Now that would be September 11th and September 12th, um, part of each of those days of 2018, if you're watching this later on in the future. Crazy stuff happening, awesome stuff happening. And I thank you all so much. The support is incredible. The just attention and everybody dropping comments, stuff like that, it's just unreal seeing everyone who's interested in what's going on. And I will do my best to keep up with you guys and to at least if you comment for me to jump in and say something and everything like that, uh, just say hello. It means a lot to me. Every comment means a lot to me. And it's so positive right now. It's so positive. Eventually down the road, we'll get some negative stuff. And that's okay. Uh, it, it does happen. But that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.